Welcome back nail queens. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I apply nail tip extensions to my nails. I have this box of stiletto shaped nail tips. Don't worry, I don't actually keep my nails this long. You can cut them down and I'm going to have everything that I use in today's video linked in the description box below. So very first thing I want to do when I'm applying nail tip extensions is to size my tips. And you wanna make sure that the tips fit sidewall to sidewall, nice and snugly without forcing the tip down to fit. If you find yourself having to force the tip down to fit sidewall to sidewall, you should size up to a larger size. And I'm gonna show you in just a second what it looks like when a tip doesn't fit. So you can see here that I picked a tip that was just a tiny bit too small for my nails. It does not fit properly and it doesn't cover my right side wall. I'm gonna flip the tip over to the right hand side and see if it fits. I'm gonna force it right here in the corner and force it down on my nails and you can see it still doesn't fit. But it fits really easily on my pointer finger. I'm not forcing it down and it fits side wall to side wall. So I'm gonna go up a size and see if this size fits my ring finger and it's a little bit too large so if i go down in size it doesn't fit properly and if i go up in size it's a little bit too large you always want to size up not down and how you get the larger sizes to fit is you take a hand file and you just smooth out the right and left hand side until it fits properly to where it fits perfectly. It's not too large and it's not too small. If it's too large or too small, you risk it popping off and looking unnatural. So now I just have to size my pinky nail and this one fits just a tiny little bit too large and I'm just gonna buff that out like I did for my ring finger. The next thing I wanna do is prep my tips. This is an optional step, but I like to do it. I am using a sanding band and an e-file to prep and etch the underside of my tips. This will ensure that the tip and the glue have the maximum best hold onto my natural nails. So I'm gonna etch the underside of all of my tips, and I'm also going to rough up the surface of the top of the tip. And the reason why I wanna do that is because sometimes nail tips can be very, very thick and they look unnatural and leave an unnatural ridge on your natural nails. So you want to smooth that out and blend it so that it looks like a seamless blend to your natural nail. So if you have struggles with your nail tips looking unnatural and not having a nice blend or seam to your natural nail, using a rough side of a buffing block to do this is a great way to blend it to your natural nail without causing any damage to your own natural nail. I prefer to do it this way rather than blending it after I apply the tips to my nails. This way I don't rough up or damage my natural nails. And next up, we have to work on applying these tips. So in order to do that, you need some sort of nail glue. Nail glue comes in so many different shapes and sizes in different packaging and products. Dip base coat is actually nail glue. You can use press on nail glue. Um, this fast bond nail glue is incredible. There's so many different types of nail glues out there. So I'm gonna start off by using this press on nail glue here. There's so many different ones out there, but I know that this one dries really, really fast, which is why I've chosen to use this one over the other ones that I have pulled out. So I apply a dollop of nail glue to the underside of the tip, and then I press it onto my nail, just going from a 45 degree angle from the edge of the tip to my free edge, and then I press down the side walls to make sure that nothing is sticking up. I repeat this process for all of the tips. I think it's very important to hold down the edges of the tip, especially if you have a more flimsy tip, so that you make sure it lays flat onto your natural nail. I 
I do want to note that if you have a slower drying nail glue or dip base or whatever kind of resin you use to be your tip glue, if it's slower drying, you may find yourself holding the tip a lot longer to prevent the glue from coming up. And I'm going to show you a little trick that you can do to make the glue dry a lot faster. So one of the things I like to do is I have a dip base and it's kind of like a brush on nail glue. So whether you have dip base coat or not, you can use a brush on nail glue. They sell it at Sally's, on Amazon, Walmart, all the places you can think of, they sell brush on nail glues. So what I like to do is take the brush on nail glue and I will run it along the seam of the nail and the nail tip. So where the natural nail and the nail tip meet each other on the top, I will run that brush on glue right over the top of it. Then I will take a resin activator. So you can use a regular dip activator or a resin activator. They sell the resin activator at Sally's. And I will brush that right on top of the dip base that I just applied over the seam. And that activator gives it like an instant hardening reaction to that nail glue. So regardless of what nail glue you use, the resin activator will harden and cure that nail glue instantly. I also like to dab it on the underside of my tip where the glue and the natural nail meet and that makes it harden really, really fast. So if you have a slow drying nail glue, this might help you get faster drying results. So after your tips are dry and applied, you can go in applying any nail enhancement that you want or cut them down and reshape them. The world is your oyster, do whatever you want. So I'm actually going to trim mine down and reshape them and that will come in a follow-up video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I wanna thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video.